Hello and good morning. It is 8.30 for me and it's the 23rd of December, meaning the winter solstice has just passed. Happy winter solstice, everybody. Oh my God, I'm so excited. The days are finally getting longer again. And it is the day before Christmas, the day before the 24th, because if you didn't know, in some parts of Germany, we celebrate on the 25th. In other parts, we celebrate on the 24th. And in my family, we always celebrate it on the 24th. My partner's family also always celebrate it on the 24th. So tomorrow is Christmas for us. So today is going to be a busy day for me because I have two major tasks. And number one is to clean up the house. I had a cold for the last couple of days and I just want to have a nice clean house for Christmas. We are not having any guests. It's just, it's just us two uh, this year around, but I just want to have the house as clean as possible so we can feel as cozy and comfortable as possible. So that's what I'm gonna do today. But first, and that's maybe more important, I have been working on a little secret project and if you're one of my patrons you already know because i re revealed it to you on christmas so for me right now tomorrow for you seeing this a week ago <laughs> on christmas i have published a new thing i don't really want to call it a book because it's not like a written novel it's not a poetry collection but it is an azores travel journal this is the cover. The image on the cover was designed by the wonderful, talented Violetta, who is an artist, who is a resident here on Pico Island. And I'm, I'm obsessed with the picture. I have a postcard of it <laughs> and I would like it to be this big. <laughs> I love this picture so much. And she kindly allowed me to use it for the journal. And inside of the journal, you not only find a lot of pages where you can write down your experiences and the stories, and the thoughts that you had while visiting the Azores, but you also have maps, you have fun facts about each of the nine islands, and you have some insights about different plants and animals that you're very likely to encounter while you are on the Azores. You also have some Portuguese vocabulary and all that kind of good, good stuff. It is not a travel guide, so please don't, <laughs> don't replace a travel guide with this. It's really just a journal with a little bit of extra information and a little bit of extra insight. I am super happy that it is now available. It is also available in English and in German. So I made a German translation. They both came out on the same day. They're both available. I will leave the links down below. I'm very proud of myself that I managed to publish it now, like just right before the end of the year, because I've been working on it for a while now and I wanted to publish it this year. That was one of my big goals, but because of the renovations took so much, long, so much longer than we anticipated and then the whole burnout, health crisis and all that stuff that was happening. It just got pushed back, 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 back and delayed, delayed, delayed. But now it is finally done and it is out there in the world. And I hope it brings joy to everybody who's traveling the Azores. My intention for this journal was that you take it on your trip and when you bring it back home, you have this very personalized individual souvenir that is full of your tickets where you can put photos inside if you have like some pressed flowers you can put it in there as well you have all of like the little fun facts that you might want to look up again afterwards and you can write down all your thoughts you can write down contact details and all that kind of stuff everything in one place so whenever you want to remember your trip to the azores you just take this journal and you have a look and you're like, oh yeah, right, that was this plant. Oh right, this was what I, what I experienced. And oh look, at this ticket or at this flower that I pressed and that kind of stuff. That was the intention for this journal and I really hope that people like it. I'm very proud of it and I'm just so happy it's out there in the world. But as I'm speaking right now, on the 23rd, I have one last round of looking through it one more time to make sure there's no mistakes. I really hope they're not. If you ever, by the way, in general, if you ever spot any mistakes in any of my books, please send me an email or a message or anything because sometimes it just slips my eyes. And I do have people who also read over it, but like even with multiple pairs of eyes, sometimes you just don't see something. It has happened. <laughs> And it will happen again. So if you see any mistakes, please don't hesitate to um, yeah, send me a message, let me know. But that is my first task of the day, is 
I need to go through both the English and the German version one more time to eradicate any mistakes and to make sure everything's really perfect. And then I will hit publish. Ah! I will hit publish and I'm so excited. Ah! As you're watching this, it's already out. So the excitement for you is not that big, I guess. But again, the link is down in the description below. And afterwards, it is time to clean up the house. Uh, I want to have a little bit of a reset. Again, as I said, 2023 has been a rough year for me and I feel like now with the winter solstice and a new year coming up, I just want to have a clean slate, a clean home and just, you know, a little reset, a little restart, new beginnings. <laughs> Oh wow, look at my hair. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how the girls do it where that looks like nice. I'm not one of those girls. Um, <laughs> oh god, in general, I look like a mess. Ignore. Uh, but I've done it. At least the German version is already published. The English one will follow in like two minutes. Um, yeah, I've done it. I'm so excited. I'm so relieved. I've managed to do it in time and oh, I'm proud, I'm proud.
It's there. No? Do you approve? Do you approve? No. 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 <laughs> Still see it. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Ta-da! It is a couple of days later. <laughs> I forgot to film an outro. Um, but yeah, Christmas is over. It was really beautiful. I have a waffle iron now. And now that I'm filming this clip, it is actually the 31st of December. So the very last day of 2023. And I am not lying when I tell you that I'm so ready for this year to be over. <laughs> I'm so done with 2023. Oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna get into it. I don't wanna be like all negative because honestly, 2023 also had some very amazing moments as well. My friends have proved to be the best people on this planet. Like the friends that I have are so precious to me and most of them have done so much for me this year and I cannot thank them enough and I had so many amazing moments with them as well. Then of course, we moved into our house, which I'm so grateful for and I really feel like it took me all of these months to really like let that sink in. I mean also I wasn't here for big chunks of the last couple of months because of all these health issues that I mentioned in the last video um, but now I'm like okay I know I will have to leave again in early 2024 but afterwards for 2024 I have no plans of leaving. <laughs> None. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay right here. And I'm so excited for it. And we are slowly but surely transforming this place into our home. As you could see, we hung up the curtains finally. Um, today we're going to order our closet. So we will finally, in a couple of weeks or months, finally be able to stop living out of boxes, <laughs> which is gonna be great. Uh, we are still missing other pieces of furniture, like shelves and stuff, but well, it, it will come with time. A home isn't built in a day. However, the house obviously was one of the major reasons why this year was as rough as it was, together with a whole list of health stuff that was happening. Um, but of course the house, like the first six months of the year when we were still working, I was working every single day on this house. We didn't have a second off, not here, not physically. We were running out of money. We were just so stressed because we were on such a time crunch. We were like, it was like an absolute survival emergency mode. And January feels like it's been a decade ago. <laughs> so those first six months of the year are just this blur in my brain. And it's very dark. It's a very dark space in my mind because it's just so much stress, burnout, pushing yourself beyond any sort of limit, which is why I have a hernia now. Um, so I'm so glad that it's over, even though, of course, again, there's still a lot we need to do, like the whole basement of the house is still not done. Uh, and we wanted to get back to it now in like March, but now with my surgery and stuff, I can't do anything. Um, so let's see, let's see when we will progress. It's not that urgent and that feels really nice. 
Sorry if the angle changed, I think it did. Um, but my battery died. But of course that whole pressure stuff was a huge reason why such a huge part of this year for me was really rough. rough. Then there was grief, losing people, other personal stuff, and the lack of health for both me and my partner this year was also very intense. Um, and also like the last couple of years were also really intense in a lot of different ways. So I'm just, I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just really, really tired. But again, I can also appreciate the good things um, that this year has brought me. And I'm so grateful for so many things. And I'm trying to really now focus on the positive and the things that I want for the next year. And I hope that moving into 2024, there's going to be more peace, more calm, more health. I mentioned this in the last video. I really want to focus on my health in 2024 uh, after the surgery. <laughs> and um, just in general, like I really hope that 2024 is going to be a year that's going to be boring for me. That's, that's what I want. I want a boring year where nothing intense is happening and we just live a normal life with, you know, the, the worst health scenario that's happening is A, my surgery and B, maybe a cold. <laughs> and that's, that's it. No hospital visits, no emergency rooms. Like, that would be fantastic. <laughs> oh, I know I'm dreaming, but one can hope. <laughs> and that just mentions, you know, my own personal life. Like, I'm not blind to what's happening in the world. Again, you know, climate crisis is something that's always on my mind. The wars that the world is seeing, I'm gonna keep it vague. Don't wanna get demonetized, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, also, there's more than one war going on and like just overall like tragedy in the world that we see and like constant overwhelm on social media and all of these kind of things. And like, I just want 2024 to be more calm and peaceful for my own life, but also for the world. And I obviously want to see more climate action, which is a great reminder if you are a reader or even if you're not a big reader and you just read like, I don't know, two books a year, I'm hosting the Climathon in 2024. It's a reading challenge that goes through the entire year. And if you just read one single book that focuses on nature, the environment or the climate crisis, you are already uh, participating and my co-host Anya was kind enough to create the story graph challenge for this year so if you have a story graph account and you want to join the reading challenge for the climathon the link will be down below in the description box so please check that out if you wanna before I go and say goodbye to 2023 for good um I just wanted to remind you guys that it's okay to have rough years and that it's okay that sometimes you're so negative you know I sometimes get comments that I'm just so negative and the reason for that was that my year just was pretty shit and it's okay you know it's okay when you have a bad year or a few bad years even you know sometimes everything just comes together and it's okay it's fine but there will be hope and there will be the good in between and do not lose sight of that if i hadn't been focusing on the tiny small good things like things like a nice sunrise or sunset you know, like, it's an everyday thing, right? Even though, of course, not every day is a beautiful sunset, but you know what I mean? You know, like everyday things or like a nice tea. I found a new favorite tea this year. I've read amazing books this year and all of these things are very small and they don't like lift the weight of the heavy stuff that has been happening, but they help me stay upright and keep on walking and like, you need to focus on the good things, the tiny good things in between in order to move on. I made an Instagram post the other day where I shared some of my favorite pictures from the last year. And I wrote a little bit how my year was like very, very rough and heavy, but there was also so many amazing things happening at the same time. And I ended it with, um, may you see the good things even in the darkest hours. May you rise up from every fall no matter how tired you are. May you rise like the sun again, again, again. Behind clouds on rainy days in all your wonderful colors on the bright ones. Shine. Never be afraid of your own fire. Rise. And with those words, I wish you all a happy new year. I hope you have a fantastic start into a new year. I hope the new year has positive things for you. Be it your own strength of getting up when you've fallen or if it is, you know, just, just a beautiful, beautiful year. Don't give up. Those things exist. I have 
some amazing friends that just had the best year of their lives in 2023 it feels like they had such amazing years like genuinely not just you know what you post on instagram but they literally just had very good years and it gives me so much hope that i will have one of those years in the near future as well where just 90 percent of what's happening is fantastic and i wish you all the same even if it's not that high that you at least see the good and that there will be a lot of good things for you in the next year thank you for being here thank you for sticking around and spending your time with me and i see you in 2024 bye